hi viewers in this video I will show you how to start a Boeing 737 flight right from the cold and dark stage until uh, ready for taxi so this is not possible in a default FSX flight uh, for this we have to download a software called PMDG and GX this is an add-on for FSX I have given the link below in the description if you were if you have the software already well and good if you don't have it please download it it is a must uh, it is a very useful add-on which, which will give you a, a real world a real world feeling of piloting so please have it now I am sitting inside a Boeing 737 flight from PMDG and from PMDG and I have done a video already on what PMDG is so if you don't know what PMDG and GX software is just check that video PMDG this is a very realistic flight when compared to the flight provided by the FSX and uh, right now the flight is already uh, the engines of the flights are already started and we are already ready for the taxi so let before so we have to um, we have to load the cold and dark stage for that press shift 3 or press on the CDU here by pressing shift 3 you can bring the CDU up and here okay now press on PMDG setup click on state load here this state panel state load and by clicking this button you can open this so clicking on state load and then you have NGX CLDD DRK which means NGX cold and dark click on NGX cold and dark the button just side uh, just line here and then click execute now the flight has been sent to cold and dark state it will take some time for the systems to initialize so just wait for that okay so initialization has been completed now um, you can see that the whole cockpit is dark no a single light is illuminating and this stage is called ca call as cold and dark stage now it's time for us to start the flight and for that bring up your overhead panel this is your overhead panel I'm just zooming out a little here you have your battery switch so click I mean, click on it to switch on the battery and a battery is on we have few lights illuminating here and there on the overhead panel so before that press shift 3 once again to bring your CDU click on FS actions here we have ground connections we don't have our ground power connected to the flight so uh, let us connect the ground power click on ground connections and then here you have ground power it's connected connect, and it's removed right now so click on this button to get it connected and now the light is illuminating here which means our ground power is connected so before switching to ground power let us check whether our we have to check few items before you switch to ground power they are you have to check whether your standby power is guarded here is your standby power it's guarded and your alternate flaps is guarded here your windshield wipers here are your windshield wipers they are now in parking position so they are okay and your electric and hydraulic pumps are off okay that is also correct and your landing gear your 
landing gear is also down so it's it is well and your parking brakes are set you can see that your parking brakes are set here so now we can switch our ground power on okay ground power is on and there are instruments instruments I've let it up written up in the cockpit now okay going back to the overhead panel now let's bring our overhead upper panel here this is our overhead upper panel and here you have your IRS section switch both the IRS left and right IRS to nav position by left clicking on it twice okay so both left and right IRS have aligned the line light is glowing so now you can go uh, you go to the FMC display uh, no sorry CDU by pressing shift 3 and now press on menu here menu have your FMC click on FMC and then you have your pause in it which means your position initialization click on here and here you have your last position which is N490 degree this is your last position and your set IRS position is blank so we are going to enter this value into this blank position so for that click on this button which is just next to this last position so now you can see that this value is copied in the bottom over here now we are clicking on this button so that this value will be pasted so before clicking there check your here you have nothing displayed if once you cop paste this value here you can see that you have all your displays set so that part is complete your IRS uh, has been set and now let's go to overhead panel here you have your switch on your rear damper this is your rear damper switch switch it on and then left pump on we are go we are going to start our APU auxiliary power unit so for that let's switch on one of our pumps okay our pump is on and now click on APU switch to on and click it once again to start so starting your APU mean your APU will take some time to start so once the APU has been started you can see this particular light glowing so let's wait for the APU to start okay so our APU is now on the light is glowing so you can set your generator generator 1 on bus and generator 2 on bus now continuing with our overhead scan we have to check whether our cooling equipments are normal yes they are normal here and your emergency exit lights you have to arm them okay so emergency exit lights are armed and your no smoking and fast and seat bell signs need to be on switch on your window heat here is your window heat so switching them on okay window heat is on now and here your left pack is off set it to auto and your isolation wall is already in auto so no need to change them and your right pack is off leave it like that and you have your engine bleeds as well as APU bleeds on so they are okay now you let's let's switch on our position lights they are already on standby so that's also set it's complete now it's time for us to start our engine so before that these are the procedures you need to do switch off switch on all the pumps fuel pumps 
and now switch all your hydro electronic and hydraulic pumps to on and set your left back to on and your switch on your anti collision lights it's off so switch it on and now we are ready for the engine start so this is how you start the engine here you have two switches for your left engine as well as for your right engine engine number two and engine number one normally we start with engine number two and then engine number one so to start click on the set button and here you can see that this the switch is pointing to this GRD once the engine is started and stabilized the switch will automatically come back to off position now we have switched it we have switched engine number 2 starter switch is on and set your fuel lever to idle can see that your engine number 2 is starting here it is starting it, ok this switch has come back to off position automatically which means your engine is stable now now it's time to start your engine number 2 sorry engine number 1 click on engine number one starter button set it to GRD and uh, then switch on your fuel supply to idle okay engine number one is starting now the engine is stabilized the switch will cut off automatically start a switch ok so it's cut off and your flight is has started completely now you can switch on your probe heat and then you can disconnect your ground power now so go to menu click FS actions ground connection and then remove your ground power so the light has stopped blowing there your flight is ready to go this is how you perform a coal and dark lane how you, this is how you start your engine from coal and dark stage thank you so much for watching if you have any doubts please comment below subscribe my channel and if you like this video hit on the like button see you on another video bye bye